All right, guys, something a little different now. Uh, this is going to be for my buddy. He, he helps me a lot, and I had this Naughty Dog's body laying over. I don't build a lot of Timmy's, but I've, I've built them. I have my own ways of like doing some certain things, but this is going to be a very stock build. Uh, it's just a black frame. Don't mind the Russian Legion grips. He has Naughty Dog grips. He's going to go on something else. And he picked up this really minty alias, which is almost a shame, but it looks so much nicer. Put a Naughty Dog's body on it. And we're just going to do a body swap, basically. It's a nice bag, but I don't see the barrel. That's okay. That's a project for a different video. So, we're just going to strip this one down. Replace it with that one. I got a couple Timmies I want to build as we go. Someone set this one up really nice. It's it's gonna look nice. There's some really nice components on this. The the later style 2K5 regulator set up perfectly, which is nice. CCM style fittings, all blacked out. Just a treat how they did that. And this is something that he wants to wall hang and then play with it every once in a while. Everything looks pretty good there. This is when they started actually grinding these a little a little flush. It's uh it could use a, a treatment to make it a better reg. This is mostly a wall hanger. So we'll just we'll just do it and we're gonna leave it, you know, a bob long affair. I'm gonna ask to see if he wants a stock bob long bolt. This is a shock tech bolt. The super fly with, you know, air restriction for no reason, and this really loud setup. But if he wants it, he keeps it. If not, we'll replace it with a stock. That's not really an improvement over a stock at all. I like this feed neck. This is the a little bit newer style feed neck. It's got the cam drive on it. Like this thing was, uh, this thing was built really nicely, really bob long, specific. And hopefully we have a really kick-ass Naughty Dog's Timmy when we're done with this. He's got proper Naughty Dog's grip, he says. So we're going to just piece this together. Leave the grips off. Are you the one that slides or are you the four bolts? There we go. I always like this one. I really like the cam drive what they when they did this. It's an expensive on off in its own right. It's sleek looking too. Alright. I wish the only critique is if they could have made these standard uh just a standard bolt in case you ever lost it. That would be the only critique on this whole system, but that would be very difficult to do. They did it a very professional way. I really like, I really like the whole interface. How they thought of that whole thing was uh, smart. I'm gonna pull the grips, and let's go off to the side. Obviously, the red and black frame is gonna go off to the side. Yeah, you know, he's been hunting around for an alias just to, to use as the donor for this thing, just a clean alias. And he got one. Wow. Took everything. Even the nubbins look good. Yeah, this thing is so clean. I'm not used to working on guns this clean. <laughs> this thing's beautiful. Yep, both detents are still there. Always check the detents on a Timmy. I'm not a big fan of finger detents in general. I really like uh, a solid detent, but that's kind of the way the world went was the finger detents. I just don't think they're very useful. Let me start cracking these off. 
And we got the emblem if he wants it, but we might just go straight blacked out on everything. Those all feel pretty good. So sometimes you want to crack this front one open. But it's actually kind of loose. Infamous board. We might pop back to a frenzy on that just for the uh, aesthetics of it. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. That one is loose. Not really Titans. There's someone put this together, I think. Or did a major, major tune-up on it before they sent it along. Because that was super loose. That one's tight. Weirdly too tight versus the other one. All right. Be gentle. Hoses look good. All looks really good. We're going to slip the board out, take a look at the uh, solenoid mount, everything. Right. And the trackpad. So that's a, a newer one, that's not the original. But I think we can fix that as well. Uh, there's a magnet in the trigger. I'm, I'm a bigger fan myself of breakaway versus uh, push towards magnets, but nice touch. I like that feeling of uh, the resistance falling away from me more than I like it to build as it gets more. Kind of like a, it's, I don't see a, this kind of magnet setup to me just feels like I don't know why it's not a spring because you're just doing a spring setup. You have a linear tension kind of going, or you have a linear pushback against yourself. But, hey, it's fine. We're going to need to do something different though. Well, I'll have to glue it into the other frame. Roller bearing CP trigger, I believe. Uh, I need this guard. Really clean, really honest alias right here. That's tight. We gotta pop this magnet out. Let's try Tiny Allen. If not, I gotta get a pick. We get a pick. And we'll try to pop this magnet out. And we'll glue it into the new frame. There we go. Put that there for safekeeping. This going off to the side for the, uh, the pile of future stuff. Got to get the eyes out. You're being a pain though. Let's see. Come on, baby. Okay, that one came out. There we go. Sometimes the, the five millimeters, they uh, get a little tight in there. Especially if you see how they machined the eye cover slot or this groove. 
You can see it. There's barely any meat. There's just the the whiff of meat between uh this part and that part. A lot of them are actually broken through, but these aren't. But that adds to a little stickiness because uh that's like a flex point, so it makes the eyes sticky, which isn't a bad thing. So that means the eyes are then pretty locked in. All right. High flow barb, definitely one back here. That's a really big barb port there. They all look like high flow barbs, that's good. Nice little add. That cap is on there. Not too bad. Let me grab a, uh, let me pull this off first. This one might be older. I think this is a, yeah, this is a screw on. This is a, a really one of the last aliases then, I guess. Cause yeah, that's uh, that's the thread on. I mean, we could make it compatible. Uh, am I speaking too soon? Does this just spin off? Yeah, it does. So that's just a cap. To go on it that's just really nice i like that i don't have too much experience with this this era bob long product but really from the stuff i've seen it, it definitely improved i'm just gonna toss it in the soft jaws and the vice with a rag let me just pop this part off here You don't want to come off, do you? Ugh. We'll get that off a different way. That's a tricky thing. You don't want to crunch it too hard in the vise or else you're going to actually deform it, which we're trying not to do. We're trying to keep it mm -hmm. nice and round. And then we have to take that off a different way because it's not really thick, any of this threading. So let me get this and I'll get that off separately. Probably gonna do is I'll probably end up chucking this in my lathe upstairs to get a nice tri grip on it, and then I can spin it off really easy. Just having that nice even pressure around is really critical. Those are off. Gotta love an old gun. You gotta use the entire Allen set. Hopefully, I have a big Ashcroft gauge too, just to put the the big old timey gauge on the side of her. All right, a little bit of paint. So it got used at least once before after it was rebuilt. Tight. All right. Everything looks good there. 
I always hate these front caps. They don't really like coming off. We'll get to that as well. Let's get the rammer out. Three sixteenths, biggest wrench you're gonna need in the set. Hmm. You don't wanna put anything hard down here because of uh, how the the valve is, so I'm gonna grab a piece of wood. This is my super fancy angel push stick. All right. <laughs> that does not want to come off either. Nice period correct hybrid adjustable back cap. Ram sounds heavy. I think it's just uh, some kind of stainless steel rammer. Nice. Yeah. Pretty sure it's stock, the way that setup is, with the little... Rammer feels nice. Nice and smooth. Yeah, so we got that broken down. This body, this stuff can go off to the side. We're going to start building the Naughty Dog up. I need to get this open. It's one of the great impossibilities of this world though. <laughs> she just don't want to come that ring doesn't look awesome that ring was definitely pretty smashed up the big square ring looks really good though for the most part All right, so I'm going to be right back. I got to crack this piece off and get this piece off. Uh, I'm going to do it upstairs on my lathe real quick. I'm not going to bring you guys along for the ride on that one. And then we'll start rebuilding this thing. Hold on a second. I guess we're recording. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to switch memory cards. For some reason, that one was unhappy. ring nice trader feels good yep oh this one has the jock strap <laughs> nice We'll see if we need to install that as we go. Make sure this thing looks pretty clean. No 
I'll wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol. Use a little cleaning. Alright, we'll start by putting the tube together. Let me switch these O-rings. Because they just got beat on a little bit. Oh, these are fat boys again. Let me get the Dow 55. I'm gonna be a little bit of, I'm gonna be doing a little O-ring guessing here. I don't know too many O-rings off the top of my head. But that's like a 115 or a 114 or something. Let me go grab that, the Dow. These are 112s. They don't need to be quad rings. I just don't have 112s in my box that aren't quad rings. So but fat quad rings are always a pain. Got to make sure that they're sitting flat and right. That one's good. You're just not happy. Ideally, this would be like a 50 durometer O-ring. That would be really nice for it because it's just a ceiling ring. Quad rings make it a little tricky because you don't want it to try to twist on itself, especially these fat ones. They actually make your life a little hard. So I'm using Dow 55, the recommended... Uh, grease for Bob Long stuff. It's a little different than Dow 33. It actually has a property that swells O-rings. I might need to go to my other box. The quads are not fun for this.
Let me grab my other box of random rings. Got some of these chunky bastards. This is the I'm not sure about it box. So I just need some O-rings real quick. A little small. A little small. Touch big. One, two. So two new O-rings. We're gonna keep this box handy. Clean the valve face off of the poppet face. Check this. Get our wood. Remember, don't put anything hard down against the poppet face. Make sure it's nice. You don't need to kill it at all. Nice and light. So we should put the LPR back together, slip that in. Then we can finish the tube, get the rammer back in. We can do that as well. It's an 006, I think, on the front. Back is O uh, ten or something. Top of my head, I don't know, but I'll be right back. Let me size these two up. I should size that one up too, but I think that one might be metric. Of course. So that's an 007. That's an 0011? Yeah. We're putting quad rings back on. Because these are dynamic seals. They will uh, work better. Make sure it looks nice and flat.
and flat. All right, so that's back in the hole. Here is the back cap of it. We'll just lube the O-ring back here so it uh, seals. We're gonna lube these two O-rings as well. You can put copious amounts of lube on these because they're just static O-rings. Tighten it back up like that. So rammer's in. We can slip the bolt in for the time being just so we don't lose it. Now the bolt O-rings, I believe, are O-15s. Maybe they're O-16s. I think they're O-15s. Replace these. Bolt will get the quad ring treatment as well. Before I lose it. Should be gone. All right, they're sitting nice and flush. Now, I don't want to, like, lube these real... I don't want to lube these at all, really. But my hands have a little bit of grease on them. That should help it slide. <sighs> this O-ring, let's just change it. Probably going to regret this. Foreshadowing. All right, let me, might be an 004.
004 O-rings. This thing keeps turning off on me. Yeah, O12 is a little big. I don't know where I lost you, but it's kind of becoming a pain in my ass. That doesn't feel right. Ooh. That one broke, but I got it out. Wow. The three millimeter stuff is so tiny. You just want to put it down nice and light. Especially this stuff when they uh, drill them out. I felt that go, and it started breaking on me, so let me go grab another one, but uh, yeah, that was a good catch. I grabbed a fresh barb. Yeah, Timmy's are, uh, they're three millimeter barbs. They're different than Cocker's, which are 10 32nd barbs. But a lot of these are the high flow barbs. So they drill them out so they're really thin. You can't get a whole lot of bite on them. That's why you use the big rubber seals. But yeah, we got that. Thankfully, that did not die. It didn't get stuck in the marker or anything. That made it pretty simple. I might have to replace the hoses. We will see. I feel like they got some stick left in them. Uh, if not, we can replace them, but they're rubber hoses, so I don't really see a need to do that right now. Lightly put the back frame screw in. I'll make sure that's tucked there. We got to sneak the eye wire up still. I just wanted to get my spacing the way I want it. As loose of a bend as I can make, as loose of a bend as I can make. That one can actually be a touch shorter. We can actually trim this one. All right, I like that one. All right, pretty cool with that. We're gonna slip this off a little bit. And run the eyes through. Make sure they're in the sleeve. All right.
attach those two again. That comes around. I loop it underneath everything. Never dealt with one of these, but it did come out. So different trigger frame though. Oh, it's just tight. Feels good though. Just want to make sure all that looks good. Looks like we got some room. It's important this pin sits down on it. screw it is the tinier one gotta make sure that looks right up here we want it to be nice we want to have room for our trigger because if all this stuff is a little too tight it binds against the trigger So that board's a little Let me show his clicks. Has room. And these we can slip them to be on like the other side of this hose. It gives us room. And now they're tucked in kind of nice. So this magnet's got to go in reverse. sure all this stuff is not touching the trigger and it's not which is excellent I'm 
Once I find the right. I don't like the way that's set up. It's way too strong. That's, yeah. I like that. That is better. So we're going to slip this hose to the inside and put the front trigger screw in, or the front uh, trigger frame screw in. off there This body, uh, I don't like the way that feels. I'm going to shorten the front or uh, the front trigger frame screw. Just I don't dig how that feels. It feels like it's going to pierce. These are very close with the clamshell to, to piercing when you push through. So I want to prevent that from happening. That happens in the front of these ram sleeves normally. When you push in, it, it can pierce the body. And that's sometimes a problem. So let me shorten this front screw, whichever one I pick, because it just doesn't feel right. Hold on a second. All right, so I popped over to the grinder. I made the front one just a hair shorter than the back, just because you run into that problem sometimes. I don't want to pierce the body. Make sure I'm happy with it. Happy with that. We got plenty of room there. Those are loose. Those are good. That's nice and tight. We're not piercing through. Let's pop uh, pop the fresher covers on.
Here we go. Nice. It's looking good. Good. The eyes are functioning. So we know that's good. So we can start assembling the rest of this frame. Let's put in a... Uh, the guard. that that bolts in that bolts in everything in there's in missing the plastic oh that's on that one. never mind different setup He has some black and gray Naughty Dog grips that he's putting on this. So the rag, where did I put the base? We're gonna lose this ring, put in a quad ring. Same deal. Then we'll bolt the rag back on. Get the air back on, and I think we're good to go. Let me grab the ring for it. Use a 113 quad ring. Nice heaping of Dow 55. High pressure stuff. I hate that. We'll have this gun back and we'll we'll do some other tricks to it, like venting. And uh, making this rag perform as good as it looks. Because I always think these are awesome looking rags. But that already looks beautiful. This is a much newer rag.
go. Like he says he wants to hang this on the wall, but I think he's going to want to play with it. And if he wants to play with it a lot, because I know we do a, they do a local tournament here where they're using uh, full-on cap, semi-automatic markers. And, uh, you know, like newer guns, like a CS2 or something like that, or a Gamma Core or whatever, or everyone else that just copied them, they don't shoot fast. Those guns are never meant to actually shoot a lot of paint. Like... They, they physically can't. That's the reason why they designed that core to be the way it is, to be super smooth and stuff, and they physically just can't put the volume of paint out that these old markers could. So I know he he was doing that league or that uh, tournament series, and the CS2 just wasn't cutting it because it can't shoot that fast. <laughs> and that's just a, a bane of all new markers. It's just a different world. All right. What tank is the lowest pressure? Probably you. Mm, I think you're kind of high pressure. Oh. little hot on the uh, LPR no leaks just an angel bow but muffles That uh, seems like a good first result. We'll have to take it outside, do a little tuning with it, and uh, clean it up a little more. But we have a Naughty Dogs Timmy now. All right. This is Andrew at Flory PB. This is the first Timmy. I have a couple more to do. I want to rebuild my alias that I used to love playing with. This guy. This guy is all kind of tricked out. Uh, I did a lot of weird things with it. And I have a couple other Timmys I'd like to build as well. This is the first one. We're not done with it. We gotta put the grips on it. Replace this with an Ashcroft gauge. Probably replace this with a stock bolt. Maybe replace the board with a stock board just because if it's more of a wall hanger than anything, let it be all bob along. Let it be just really a beautiful example of a Timmy. All blacked out naughty dogs. Alright guys, Andrew Flory PB. That's it for now.